Hi everyone, I'm Pat Ertman from West Bend, Wisconsin, attempting my first video. Today I'd like to show you a wow fold that uses the Painted Poppies stamp set from the Spring Mini. That said, let's get started. Please bear with me as this is my first video and I may make some mistakes, but I'm practicing on everybody. So please join in. For the card today, we are going to make this painted poppy card. It's got an interesting fold that folds towards the front. I believe somebody else, me, uh, Ruth, uh, I think demonstrated it also at one point. I had this card designed a long time before that, but I was afraid to try videos, so I didn't try it. Anyway, what's fun about this um, video or fun about this fold is it has a belly band and then both flaps open to the front and then you feature all three different kinds of designer series paper. Okay, so this is the card we're going to design or do. I just absolutely, this is my favorite stamp set and um, bundle, so I'm very excited that it's probably going to be in the next catalog. So to start off, we're going to start with an eight and a half by 11 sheet of Whisper White cardstock. And we're going to cut, first of all, I find that it's best to cut the belly band first because then you're not dealing with a little piece of paper. So we're going to cut it one and one quarter and 11, and we're going to set that aside. Don't worry if you don't know the measurements because tomorrow at about three o'clock, uh, there will be a blog hop called What's New with Stamping Up? And there's 12 demonstrators from around the world that are sharing different uh, techniques with the um, spring mini mother's day things and uh father's day cards and that kind of thing so be sure you, oh, you watch because you're going to see some really cool ideas and this will be one of them with all the directions that are right there the next thing i'm going to do is go to five and a half inches and then i'm just going to cut it off there your card is go base is going to be five and a half by 11. this is a scrap that we'll use for part of the inside of the card so we're going to set that aside and we're going to grab our scoring plate and we are going to now score the card so we're going to score the card at one and three quarters inches, five and a half inches, and nine and three quarters inches. That's all there is to it. Very simple. I'm going to fold on these score lines. You may have to try I, several times. I've had to refold mine because it's such an unusual fold um, because both flaps are folding towards the front. So it's not the usual card, but it makes a very interesting card. So the next thing we're going to do probably is stamp. So I'm going to take our nice little mat here that stamps images really, really well. And I'm going to grab our uh, Painted Poppies stamps from the stamp set. And I'm going to grab the Blackberry Bliss ink. And I'm going to stamp the outside of the card with this cute saying that says, these are the moments we will look back at with joy. This could be for anything, any kind of folks. Okay, then we're gonna take this little one, happy birthday, I'm gonna make mine a birthday card, but it could be a Mother's Day card. It could be any kind of a celebration. And I'm gonna stamp happy birthday and I'm gonna let that dry. While we're letting that dry, I'm gonna use our great new chamois, which I had to be sold on, but now that I bought it, I really like it because you just stamp and it's almost dry and ready to go for the next one. The next one and it really cleans these this type of stamp really really well if you put it in one of our stamp cases um, then it's ready to go whenever you need it okay the next thing we're going to do is cut our designer series paper to go on our card so what i like about stamping up designer series paper is they have patterns that coordinate with each other so in this case i chose these three papers from the uh, poppy papers in the catalog in the mini catalog that go together mainly all you have to do is cut them at five and a quarter inches and then follow the directions on my blog one piece is going to be one inch one is going to be one and a half inch the other one is going to be four inches I also took a little scrap that was left and I'll show you what to do with that and I cut one piece one inch by 12 that will be part of our belly band So I'm going to show you a little trick that I learned. When you're doing a lot of cards at a time, if you put all of the adhesive on at the same time, it say, actually saves a lot of time because then you're not 
picking up and putting down your, your mono adhesive or whatever glue you have um, over and over again. So all I'm going to do is put my adhesive on everything. And then I'm going to put my card together. So I'm going to take my belly band and I'm going to add this to that. See how much time this saves? I could have, otherwise I have to put down the, pick up the paper, put on the adhesive, then put the, um, then pick up the next one, put on the adhesive, then apply it this way. They're all done, and all you have to do is grab your card and go to town. So this one goes on the little tab. This one goes on the middle tab, the tab that goes right underneath it. Make sure it's upside right. And last but not least, we're going to put this piece inside. Let's see, I guess we'll do it that way. Now, whenever you have scraps, I hate to throw away anything that's cute. So that makes a cute little embellishment inside your card, it really pizzazzes it up a little bit and adds a lot to your card. So there's basically your card. Um, the next thing we're going to do is create the belly band. So I'm going to take, and I decided I want the flower about there, so I'm going to take it and put it there. Then I'm going to wrap this around my card. And I'm going to use my favorite tool, which is my thumb, to mark where I want to cut it. And I'm just going to snip it off. And then what I'm going to do is... attach it this way. So I'm going to put a little adhesive right here. Actually, uh, Tombow Glue works really good if you want to hold it down really tightly. But I found this also holds pretty well. And there's the belly band around your card. Okay. Um, oh, I forgot to do the inside of the card. Let's go back to that. So inside the card I have this happy birthday and I'm going to punch it out with the Label Me Fancy Punch. This is in the mini catalog. I believe it'll be carried off over into the regular catalog. I love this punch because it's really good for uh, almost a majority of words. And if you decide that you want to put some ribbon through your tag, you can punch it like that. Or if you decide that you want to put some a hole in your tag to hang it, you can use the other little dot on the other side. So it does multiple things. It's an $18 punch, but it makes tags. It makes little... Uh, it, does a, it has a lot of uses. So if you would put this in here, it's okay, but it's kind of boring. So what I would do is I would take a piece of Blackberry Bliss cardstock and a two inch punch and just, I'm using an old scrap. Just gonna punch out a circle. This is a two inch circle. Now watch the difference. I'm going to glue this down. Then I'm gonna add the happy birthday. And you can see, doesn't that make the, the make the words pop? Okay, after that I'm going to add that, put my belly band back on, and we're going to do the finishing part. But I want to show you what some of the things that we are using. So first of all, um, you all know how to die cut using a big shot and a die cut machine. If you don't, I can send you a video or help you out with that. But this is the uh, Poppy Moments dies. So those are right there. This is on page 27 of the mini catalog. These are the dies, and this is the stamp set that goes with it. You can see I use this one, and I use the happy birthday from this set, but easily you could do the sympathy or the thank you, and or say wishing you every day uh, happiness and this, this special day will bring would be great too. And then I'm using three of the components from in here to finish this card. In addition, the, there is also a stamp set with just poppies on it and painted labeled dies that that a lot of the words also fit in. So this is, both sets are wonderful. If you decide that you want something or you see something, um, I have a hostess code here, and if you order from me, I will send you another card, a different version of this card, but I will send you one in the mail so you have two different ideas for your poppy cards. Um, I'm going to take and I'm going to adhere this to this. This is Blackberry Bliss, this is Rich Razzleberry, and this is Basic Black. Now you can use several different adhesives. You can use glue, which kind of gets messy. You could use two-way glue, which will hold it on also, but I find if you have 
Tombow Dot Adhesive. It works great on these fine points. So all you have to do is very gently put the dots on. They, you can rub them off where you don't want them. And all you have to do is find where it matches and put it down. If you have something where you don't want it, you just rub it and it'll come right off. So there's the poppy. And then we have the great centers of the poppy. And so, voila, in just a few minutes, you have a really pretty poppy to embellish your card with. And then all you have to do is add adhesive here. And again, glue works well, so does this. And then you have to decide, hmm, which way do I think the poppy is the prettiest? And I guess on this card, I think it's that way. So that's the card for today. Like I said, if you order using this hostess code, I will send you a, uh, another card made with this uh, bundle and some different papers. And it's kind of a little different look than this one. So tomorrow on my blog, giftedhandsinc.typepad.com, there's a blog hop with people from all around the world using spring mini sets. This, set, this card will be featured there with all the directions and everything you need to purchase to be able to make this card. Thank you for watching my very first video. Um, please be kind. It's my first one and I'm very nervous. This is my fourth take and I'm probably still not going to be happy with it, but I think it's going to have to go. So take care. Stay safe. Um, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.